Hello, my name is Mikey Prophet, and welcome to the very first podcast show of Not All Talk. First of all, I'd like to introduce... My name is Judith Nepshaw, and I'm here to talk about the Cancer Conference being held in Croydon on the 30th of November, which is Can You See Me? And yeah, it's a really important topic because it's something that affects all of us. So, again, welcome to the very first episode of Not All Talk. So, what we do here is that we make it our business to highlight people's whose words only represent a small percentage of their actions rather than a majority, as you know. Talk is cheap. So, what I'm going to do next is just go through a couple of shout-outs just to, you know, show the show love to the people that are actually supporting this thing. So, Kicks Mags, first of all, shout-out. Make sure you add them on Insta and all of that as well. Um, again, another level barbers, where I personally go. So, make sure you come there, add them on the Insta. Um, people that you can see me cancer so I obviously do, sorry can I also jump in and say can we also add in from me to you dot AOS as well thank you cool 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 and then we got UKG brunch uh, flex FM and whoever else is actually watching on the stream so what we're gonna do now is just go into a couple of questions just to kind of go into a little bit more depth about what you do and what, what we're gonna be talking about yeah yeah okay so um, basically the Cancer Conference is being held in Croydon and it's on the 30th of November. And basically we would like everybody in our community, in the black community, um, I mean everybody feel free to come along, to talk about cancer and to see what's actually out there. There are actually quite a few things, you know, in relation to inequalities, but I think as a community we should be looking at um, and that's why from me to you and a lot of other people who are going to be at the Croydon Cancer Conference yeah. are going to be there speaking about their experiences, not just to talk about our journeys, mm. but I personally, I'm, I'm passionate about it, only because when I was diagnosed and given under a year to live, mm. I don't think anybody in our community should ever have to go through that. No. You know? But um, a lot of people are going through it. But a lot of people are, and people. a lot of people going through that without any support. Yeah. I mean, I was lucky. I've got yeah. quite. I'm quite vocal, you know, yeah. <laughs> and I speak up for myself. But there are a lot of people in our community yeah. who are not as vocal. Yeah, they do go by what the professionals say. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. you know, they don't question, and they're not engaging with their care plans. Yeah, and actually, that's an issue because yeah. it could cost you your life. So that's 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 along the lines of, in terms of, what do you think about the the support and the aftercare treatment yeah. that they get? So. That's, that kind of goes along with that. Yeah, it does. I mean, there are a lot of also palliative care services. Okay. And don't get, it, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, you know, that the health services are doom and gloom or anything like yeah. that. There are a lot of services that are out there, palliative care services. Yep. But as a community that we have to look at ourselves as well, yeah. we're not accessing them. Yeah. When people say, I mean, I had a clinical trial, and by the grace of God above, I owe mm. him my life. Yeah, of but also that clinical trial helped to save my life. Oh, wow. Now, there are a lot of people in our community, when you start talking to them about oh, clinical, clinical trials, trials, they're like, yeah. they're not testing no, me. Yeah, 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 I'm not yeah. going to be no guinea pig for nobody. But actually, we need to change the way we're yeah. thinking. But why do you... Th what, all right, so not to get into like a whole other subject, mm. but with that, why do you think that is? Why do you think that there's that cultural... Because sort of culturally, we have a... You know, as a community, as a race, we have a... We have a distrust mm. of large institutions, yeah. you know, for whatever reason. Mm. And I'm not saying that's unjustified. Yeah, of course, of course. But it's something that we need to, from my perspective, and this is just my perspective, yeah. that whether we have a distrust or not, mm -hmm. we're not going to get anywhere from being on the outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to you know, overcome that. To overcome or, or, or to, to work with the system, you have to go into the system. Yeah, of course. To not you change know? it from within. And you can, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So whilst we might not like it, if we're not engaging, yeah. we're not going to change anything. Yeah, yeah. And this is even down to, you know, forget even the large institutions. We're not even engaging with our care plans. Yeah, yeah. You know, we get a care plan. We're not even looking into as it. As simple as that. You know, yeah, and yeah. it's a simple and it's about you. Yeah. And we're not even engaging in that. Yeah. So we really need to start looking at the way as a community that we that we take care of ourselves. Yeah, ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Because it's all very well that we want to engage in music yeah. and everything that goes yeah. with that or raving. That's fine. Yeah. But, you know, health is the biggest thing that we've got. Of course. If you course. haven't got your health, you've got nothing. Yeah, of course, of course. So it's about time we started to engage in that because yeah. that's got to be one of the biggest topics of all, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know? yeah definitely, definitely. So with, with, like, the aftercare plans, 
in terms of like how they implement it so for like cancer care patients or yeah. just across the board do you think that the way that like the nhs obviously because they have a massive role in it as well as us mm-hmm. doing it do you think that those things are done um in a way where they consider the client more or is it just sort of like a rigid plan that they have that it kind of has to fit everyone look as a community we live in a country that demographically i don't know what the percentage is we make up a very small percentage, yeah, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah So ultimately, it's not about, you know, it is about them, you know, trying to facilitate us. Mm-hmm. But it's also about us looking at how we can fit into that as yeah. well. Yeah, 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 You know, like clinical trials, for example, there is no, when a clinical trial is run, mm. they don't have to have anybody of a different ethnicity on that. There's yeah, no yeah. law that says yeah. the people of colour have to be have within to be, that. Yeah, yeah, now, course, if yeah. we're not included in that very basic thing, mm. then how do we know that the treatments that are out there are actually geared towards us? So, yeah, yeah. And there are actually reports coming out now that our DNA, I'm going quite deep, sorry yeah, to go yeah, on no, about no, 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 but our DNA, wrong, as exactly. black women, we know now that our DNA repairs itself in yeah. a different way yeah. to yeah. white women, so, yeah. right? Now, if that's the case, and that calls in, yeah, to most other races. Now, if that's the case, that calls into question every kind of treatment that yeah, is out there that does that work receiving. for us yeah, then? already yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. so if that's the case but you can't blame anyone for that yeah. because when you say to our community take part in clinical you trials we're not there yeah yeah, yeah. you know so yeah. if we're not there why issue, should they definitely. cater for us if we're not going to engage yeah why should they bother yeah it's like giving you know, blood exactly thing, yeah, yeah like if we're not going to engage yeah. so really the question is not about them anymore mm. and that's what i would say it's about us as a community when are we going to engage when are we going to actually take accountability yeah. sure other people have got to have accountability of course, of, of course. course. but you know what my mum had used an old saying that before you can look in someone else's back garden yeah. you have to deal with your own and we're not dealing with our own yeah and i'll probably get crucified for saying that no no, but no, no, no. the truth is the truth right yeah fair enough well i want to ask like i wouldn't say it's a personal question but more of a question sure? like, yeah yeah, yeah, no, of, course, <laughs> yeah. of course it's like you said that you went and had you was part of a clinical trial right yeah so when when you went for that clinical trial like genuinely like what what was you feeling like what was the what was the experience for you did you have initially maybe that distrust but you had to overcome it because you know you needed the help or what, what was your i'm going to be honest with you i'm going to be yeah. brutally honest right i am very grateful to the consultants who put me on that clinical trial okay. because but for the grace of god yeah. i would not be here today right but what i'm going to say is you don't think about anything else when your life's on the line. Yeah. You don't care. If someone says to you, eat, I don't know, soap powder, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. going to save your life. Yeah. You're, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You might worry about the consequences so afterwards. survival kit. But at that point, it's survival yeah, 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 mode, yeah. right? Yeah. 100%. So, yeah, in answer to the question, yeah, of course I was worried. But was I grateful that I actually had the knowledge or that somebody had given me yeah. that information to actually take part in? Yeah. Because when I was first diagnosed, I was told there was no hope. Yeah. And this is what I'm trying to say. Information and knowledge yeah. is everything. That's what I was going to say. Because That's if I hadn't, if my daughter hadn't yeah. done that research, yeah, yeah, yeah. that door wouldn't have been yeah, opened. Yeah, definitely. It's the knowledge part. It's I the knowledge. It's the research we, yeah, and knowledge. Got, yeah. Yeah. And it's out there, do you know what I mean? We're it in is the information age. Internet's there. We're and exactly. I mean. And if they go to this cancer conference, what people are going to realise is there are other organisations, mm. you know, I'm not just going to talk about mine, because for me to use just one organisation. Of course, of course, yeah. Um, but there are other organisations that will give you that information. Yeah. They will at least try to help you. Big organisations as well. You know, Macmillan, they're all, they're all out there. Yeah, yeah, but, a you know, there, yeah. but ultimately what we need to start doing is probably start looking at the, the organisations that are in our community, yeah. that are geared for our community, yeah. and to start, you know, supporting them. Yeah. Because they're actually, they're trying to tailor their needs fit us as yeah. a people yeah, yeah, yeah so we need to start showing some support, support back, and say, yeah, look, right and instead yeah. of necessarily giving it to head there and yeah, everywhere yeah. well let's look at the commu- let's look at the organizations that are meet, backing us meet them halfway have, yeah let's meet them yeah, meet let's them promote them yeah, yeah, yeah. so am i saying come and see like from me to you yes yeah. come and see whoever you know errol um i believe i've forgotten his name now and i'm not going to mention the name because no. i've forgotten the guy's yeah, name no, cool. but there are a lot of stands with a lot of people that have a yeah. lot to say a lot yeah. of speakers yeah that have, you know, have a lot of knowledge yeah, of course, and will help. Definitely. And we should be going and we should be looking at what's available. We need to back ourselves, yeah, you know. No, this is the time now, isn't it, you know? No. If that's what they say, Black Lives Matter and that. Black Lives Matter. Well, then we that. need to show that, right? <laughs> no, fair enough. So, for you now, sort of like, having lived your life, you are where you are now, 
what would you say when like it comes to you thinking about what you want to leave as your legacy like what what would you want it to be what would you want to be remembered for it's probably the best way i can put it okay um i would like to be remembered for trying to challenge inequality okay and also for having having the uncomfortable conversations mm. because there's a lot of them to be had yeah and we need to start having them yeah 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 no good 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 well i think that's that's probably the best way that you can Thank probably you. leave <laughs> a sort Thank of mark you. on the world definitely so um if we then call, sort of move on to some other questions that i've got here as well so you said questions for um for yourself so what do you suggest that we um that can eliminate inequality um for black african and caribbean people that have faced cancer we need to start We're not going to get rid of inequality overnight, but we definitely need to start joining together. There needs to be some form of unity because, like, at the moment, like I said to you about that report that came out about mm. DNA, our DNA repairing mm. in a different way, we should, be, we should be screaming from the rooftops that they carry out research yeah. in relation to that, mm -hmm. yeah? As it is, there is a huge amount of funding out there and they're carrying, and research is being carried out in every arena, yeah. but not asking the right questions, yeah. right? And that's because we're not involved in channeling that. They don't have to listen to us because our voice is not strong enough, not right? Yeah. So that's what I would like yeah. to see moving forward, that yeah. our agenda yeah. becomes top of the agenda in relation to our causes. Fair enough. No, it makes sense, makes sense. So um, kind of moving back to maybe the central topic about how things are administrated and done, would you say that you trust the NHS? I trust, do you know what? There are some amazing people in the NHS. And like I said, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for people within the NHS. Yeah. You know, they're not, it's not against us. Yeah. But like with all things, you know, you, can't, you can only do better once you know better, yeah, right? So when they know better, they mm. will do better. Yeah. But we have to show that, yeah? yeah? We have to show them that 100%. necessarily, right? 100%, 100%, 100%. Um, so, a couple more questions. Um, so, um, so, um, and what um, what influenced you, obviously, then, then the obvious, yeah. what influenced you to get involved in doing, doing what you do? Um, what influenced me to get involved? I, do you know what, I'm gonna be really honest. I, before I was diagnosed, I liked going out, I like to go and shopping. I like to get my nails done. It wasn't my thing. Yeah, it yeah, wasn't yeah. my thing. Yeah. But um, I think the fact that what influenced me was that when I was diagnosed and I realised what was that, what was happening, mm. I felt the question came to me is like because I kept on saying someone's got to do something. Yeah. Someone's got to do something, yeah. and then it came to me that well, if it's got to be someone, then why not you? Yeah. Because if everyone says someone's got to do something and no one actually does it. Then it's never going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I'm not saying I'm the best person to yeah. do it. No, there no, are no, far fair. better people out yeah. there to be no, doing fair, this. Fair. But until they come along and stand up, yeah, yeah then I, I've got a big mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. Um, so um, there's a question here, but I'm going to kind of just not ask that. It's, it's appropriate. Okay. So um, <laughs> what in Curious terms of you, you have a yeah. you have a BA honours? Um, I have a degree. All right. Yeah, yeah cool. I'm in psychotherapy. Mm. Um, yeah. Where did you Where did you get your degree? I didn't. I went to, I went to college locally, mm -hmm. Havering College, and I got my degree there. Oh. And I did it after because I was a single mum. Okay. So I brought my daughter up. Um, I used to be a secretary, mm -hmm. and then yeah, and then because I'm quite, I'm going to say curious for want of a better word. <laughs> yeah. I thought that would be a really good, you know, career because you get to ask lots of questions. Or I thought so at the time. I didn't realize that you don't get to ask any questions. You just have to listen which actually is yeah. one of my weakest points. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's not. I try, I try. <laughs> so, so generally now, in terms of what's, what's next for you, so you obviously got the conference. Yeah, I mean... What would you say the next few things, like your short to, your short to medium goals, what are, you, what are you trying to do? What I'm passionate about is From Me To You. Yeah. From Me To You is the charity. We're turning into a charity this year, at the end of this year, I'm okay. hoping. Um, and I want to work with the community. Okay. I want to work with the with the NHS. Okay. Um, 
it, to educate on both yeah. sides, you know, because we both need, and I want to be, I want to kind of like build a bridge, Yeah. yeah. you know, Yeah. Um, but also most importantly, what I'm really passionate about with From Me To You mm-hmm. is supporting black people, yeah, yeah, yeah. is supporting our community, because yeah. I think we're at a point in time when our voice really needs to be heard. Yeah. So, yeah. So would you say that, with, with that in mind, would you say that the communication and that bridge building, has it been reciprocal for both, like, let's say, the, the government part side of things versus the community side of things? Are people, like, actually engaging with you in terms of what you're trying to do or what, what have you faced many obstacles? Yeah, of course, you know, you face obstacles, but, you know, nothing worth having comes without obstacles. Yeah. But it's not about that, you know, because ultimately... Yeah, there have been obstacles on both sides, but actually people want to help. Yeah. And really, I've had a lot of help from organisations, Yeah. you know, to try and for, to try and move this forward. Yeah. But what I'm really looking now to is the community. Yeah. You know, because we can only go so far, yeah. but without the community behind us, we're not going anywhere. 100%. You know, and it's yeah. not just about black women, it's not just about black men. Yeah. It's about... Because it's always black men or black women. It's not about that. It's about us as a family, yeah. you know, taking our roles and moving forward together, uni- unified for yeah. once, you know, yeah. to be unified. No, definitely, definitely. So, um, in conclusion, come to the Cancers. Can you see me cancer conference? Yeah. Yeah. In conclusion. Yeah. So is there like anything that people can like tag, add, what would be like Oh great. Um, social media stuff. Well we've got all of the cancer Can You See Me Cancer Conference. I believe you've got all of their tags and handles. Yeah. yeah. Um from my perspective, if you want to come to from me to you and join us, um it's from me to you dot AOS or look us up on Facebook. And that's all I can give you guys because I'm of the older generation and I'm useless at handles and things like that. So I admit that blatantly. So yeah, but look us up, please. And I'm being on a serious note, if anybody has got somebody who's got a cancer diagnosis um, or you yourself have a cancer diagnosis, it's a lonely place and you don't have to do it alone. You know, please get in contact. That's what we're there for. And you will be understood because I'm walking that journey myself. Now, I'm not cured, you know. I'm still here, I've still got it. So, please, don't do it on your own. There's help. All right, fantastic. So, what I'll say is, thank you to Judith Mitchell for coming. And thank obviously you for having me. Yep, no, lovely, thank you for coming. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah.